Hi there, everyone, and this is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. First and foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. And it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of 2021 be your best year ever filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now, to celebrate this um, starting this year of 2021 for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in-depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot, uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time. So don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get started. Hi there, Pisces, spicy sun, moon, and rising sign. This is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in uh, to each and every Pisces people out there. So just keep that in mind, especially for this reading, because... I've mentioned this in the introduction of the video that I'm doing a combined reading. And whenever I, you see me doing a combined reading, it can give a lot more detail and it can be a lot more specific uh, than any other kinds of readings. And with that, it is actually pretty good if you are resonating with the reading because this is like getting a free reading yourself. Uh, reading to the situation that you are going through which is really really good however it can also mean that this is this reading is not really for everyone so it may resonate and it may not resonate so I would say that you need to take into consideration of what really is happening into your present situation, present and past, so that you will be able to um, to see whether this reading is for you. Um, so you need to use your own intuition with that. You can also um, see through the entire video and see what are the keywords that I keep repeating all throughout the video because that is probably going to be the energy that might be enforced within the month of January 2021 for each and every one of you. So just keep that in mind. So again, let me repeat that you need to use your own intuition to discern um how this is really going to be playing out for you into your own specific situation. So without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading. So we do have a lot of aces here. And when I was laying out the card, I noticed immediately that we have the ace of swords over here. And then the ace of wands and then another ace of wands. So it gives me a feeling that, you know, you are actually entering um, the month of january 2021 in a very clean slate or you could be 
、uh, literally entering a new beginning in your life. You know, it could be something that's really personal for you, or it could be that e- there is a new energy that is forming into your love life and relationships. For some of you, this could be you know a reset button. For some of you, it could be that you are entering a new beginning into your love life. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Swords here, you could be in a situation wherein you are maybe being forced to make、uh, an important decision in terms of your love life. Maybe you have been postponing things, and now is the time that you need to be more.、Um, you you have to be more decisive, or maybe confrontational, or more.、Um, Someone that has confidence with the decisions that they make, especially for you, you know, we also have two wheel fortunes here. So I kind of feel that、um, there is some form of faith involved in this situation or in this reading. You know, so something really has to occur. Some form of movement needs to happen, or any form of delays or postponing.、Um, Needs to finally move forward with the Tower card over here and the Hermit card. It makes me feel that there is some form of dissatisfaction or something is really happening to the very core of your relationship.、Uh, there could be a possible upsets or、um, or some form of falling out.、Um, not really a breakup or anything like that, but there could be some form of disappointment or dissatisfaction. Happening into your relationship that is making you really think that if it if it is really worth、um, investing more time with it, but should I really continue this relationship or not? What should I do with this relationship? What will be the outcome of this relationship? These are the things that might be coming into play as you enter the new year. So you will have to make some form of important decisions with that as well. Another Ace of Wands over here and the Page of Wands. There could have been some form of communication, and a lot of communication. There could have been too much passion with that because Wands is essentially a fire sign. So there could be some form of com- communication or conversations that. On one point, can be very exciting, can be very very good, but at the same time, too much fire can be you know can really burn people. So it can be quite toxic, or can be a situation wherein you might feel dragging. You know this kind of relationship or communication.、Uh, there's really something that's happening in that communication that seems、um, a little bit of too much. Um, so I'm just telling you guys the possibility on how this might turn out, but general, de- generally, Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands combination is actually pretty good,、um, good combination because it is telling us some form of adventure. Maybe the relationship that are in question or is in question right now was a relationship that is quite exciting before. Uh, there's a lot of adventure in that, and a lot of happiness involved. However, right now, you are in a situation wherein you are contemplating: Am I still in a relationship? You know, I kind of feel that whatever it is that happened in the past, you know, you're not really feeling that anymore because of the circumstances that are happening. You know, there is something or some form of event has occurred that made you. Reflect, you know, it's making you think whether you should continue this relationship or not. This is the Two of Cups and the Hangman, so this is really telling us that, okay, I really need to take a look on this relationship, you know, situation. Or this can also be a situation wherein I am in a relationship, right? But I don't feel like I am in one. So you might have all of these kinds of thinking. Or experiences, so this is making you really think about the relationship, whether you should continue with that or not.、Um, we do have the Star card and the Three of Wands over here, so this is really more having a hope for the future, having having a hope、uh, of a relationship situation. Even there is also a possibility that、um, within that relationship, maybe another person can come into your life. Or an idea can come into you,、uh, 
um, to whatever venture that you are about to take. I do know for a fact that you are going to make some form of decision making in terms of your love life, whether that is to continue the relationship, whether that to lead the relationship or to venture to another relationship. All of these things can actually occur and come into your mind during this time of the month. I really feel that, you know, you have a very strong manifesting power during this time. So if you're focusing on the positive thing into the situation, you might just manifest that. And negatively, if you are thinking too negative on the situation, you might just manifest that all at the same time. We have the Queen of Cups and the Magician card over here. So this can re really also manifest in a way wherein, yes, you are a strong manifester, which is really, really wonderful. However, this can also be a situation wherein you are manifesting the negative parts of uh, a situation as well. Or um, you might be handling things this time around in a, an emotional kind of way. So... Uh, there is a possibility for em emotional manipulation, whether you are doing that consciously or unconsciously. It could be something that you're doing or it could be the other person as well. So, um, but I kind of feel that this is really happening in a very positive way. At the very least, um, it is possible that someone can enter the scene in your love life or you might seek some form of happiness to another person because the current situation or current rela relationship is not really turning out the way that you envision things to be. However, it's also possible that, you know, you can bring back the, the fun <laughs> in the situation again, you know. There is also a possibility that um, there could be some form of improvement, but I just kind of feel that without that decision, without you making some form of um, conclusion to a relationship or decision making, or if you're not going to take action, um, you're not going to experience uh, the happiness into this or the improvement of a current situation. So you really, really need to make a decision are a change into your current love life situation so you need to keep that in mind over here we do have two king of cups so whenever we have two cards of the same uh and different deck comes together it, that energy becomes a lot more stronger so you might be thinking a lot about uh, what kind of person that you want to be in your life and all at the same time I kind of feel that your what is in your head and what is in your heart are all getting mixed up all together and this is a little bit of a shaky side because you won't be able to discern what you're truly feeling you know the, the decisions that you make and what you're feeling and what is in your head are all gonna be jumbled up together so it's very important for you to, you know, to really clear out your energy, to ground yourself, um, do some form of meditation that's really going to be helping you. Because if you do not, you are just going to be, you know, it's like you, you'll be in an emotional roller coaster ride. And you might make decisions that you might regret because you are basing everything to what you are feeling. And even this reading is not going to help you because of that. Because... Uh, it's it makes me feel that, you know, depending on the circumstances that you are experiencing, um, it can be the emotions that you are feeling, you are going to act upon them, whether it's happening in a positive way or negative way. It's basically at that point wherein you cannot think or function in a very logical manner. It's hard for you to see what is the real thing. Uh, versus what is fantasy or delusion. So it's very important for you to really ground yourself and protect yourself all at the same time. There's also um, an energy here wherein you will need to, to really um, see the pros and cons of a situation and to balance maybe work and relationship all at the same time. You need to... It's like giving category into a relationship. What is important to you? What is of value? And how is this relating to the relationship is going to be very important during this time. There is so much reflection and a needed, for, a needed thought, you know, into the relationship. 
I just kind of feel that this is not just about having fun anymore. This is about you getting real about the relationship and wanting to push forward and have a real future with that. However, you also need to accept that there could be issues and problems in the relationship and you will need to sort them all out. So yes, at one point we are seeing some form of improvement, some form of love into the situation. However, um, you will also need to get real with certain things like um, I feel that uh, you guys, you and your partner uh, will need to have a serious talk into the relationship, especially when things are not exactly getting aligned anymore. Maybe one of you guys are being too irrational, too emotional to the point where in the, the relationship is suffering as a result. So you guys really really need to talk things out. Again, reassessment of a relationship and, and disappointment can go hand in hand with this. So I would say that instead of handling things alone, which some of you might be doing, I kind of feel that it's very important to really talk to them and really have a, a, a great understanding on what's really happening in this relationship, you know. Because some of you, like I said earlier, it feels as if you are in a relationship, but it seems so one-sided. It seems as if you have no idea what the other person is doing in the relationship anymore. So it's making you really confused. It's at one point, they are really, really happy. It's it's all good. Everything's perfect. And then at one point, everything is a mess. Everything is so negative. So... You're also getting confused and all of this influx of emotions and energies are really getting um, the best out of you or the worst out of you. So uh, there's a lot of things that you guys will need to to really think about. Um, and emotionally, it's not going to be healthy for you if you guys continue on this route. So you will need to balance um, things out in a relationship to bring harmony back into your life now let us see what we have in the lenormand the lenormand is basically going to give us some form of confirmation or added information that we need um, with this reading over here we have the fox quite of a difficult card and the letter this is telling us that there could be some form of problems in the communication maybe there is miscommunication misunderstandings can can occur or some form of fishy messages might be coming about so we are seeing here that it's um the possibility of not really understanding each other could be a very big issue at hand we have the lily card and the bear card which is you know this could be uh, a very important relationship or this could also be a situation wherein you are dealing with someone mature or maybe you guys need to really talk things out in a very mature way. You know, it's not really just about the feelings now. It's not just about having fun, having this happy feeling of a relationship. It's, you know, I kind of feel that you need to talk about the core issue and the foundation of the relationship so that you guys can overcome whatever adversity that you are experiencing at this time now the, the middle card we have here is the mountain card and the grave so this is really telling us that there is some form of block so it could also be an issue wherein maybe they blocked you or how i don't know there is a form of problem in this relationship you know some form of endings and form of problematic situation might have um gone through this relationship um this can also be a situation where in you know it's about ending a problem um you need to end the problem there is some form of confrontation that needs to end right here and right now so whenever we have the the mount, mountain card it is some form of obstacles in place so change with how you guys communicate is going to be very vital and then over here we have mountain 
uh, sorry, the bear card and the mountain card. So again, we have two mountain cards here. So it gives a great emphasis about a problem of a relationship or obstacles in a relationship. And that change is very much needed for, for you guys to be able to surpass this. Um, basically, this is telling us that there is definitely a problem that needs to some form of fixing in the relationship it's not telling us that it's going to be improving this time around but it's telling us that hey you guys really need to fix something in this relationship if you want to to smooth and think things out if you want to have some form of progress in the relationship situation there is really something that you need to fix this can also be a situation wherein you might encounter some form of problems into your relationship during this time as uh, some form of clarification and you guys will need to talk things out because maybe there is a problem with communication or some form of work involvement can cause um, suffering into the relationship it can go in either way however this is really telling us that um the most important thing is to really change how you guys really talk to each other how you guys um understand each other is going to be crucial or else you are going to be facing some form of big big problems into the relationship overall i kind of feel that the the very core foundation of the relationship needs to have some form of change to 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 have some form of improvement in the relationship overall so definitely a reassessment of the rela relationship is the overall message here so change needs to happen and it, you cannot delay this anymore and even if you try to postpone things it, it's like i kind of feel that this is the month where in reality is going to struck you that okay no matter how you try to postpone things no matter how you try to delay things or try to escape reality at the end of the day what really hap what really needs to happen will always happen and that is the the basis energy that we are experiencing for a lot of pisces people out there so instead of you know instead of just escaping reality i kind of feel that it's very important to just talk it out it's very simple you just need to talk things out and i know some of you guys might be having a hard time to explaining things or maybe you guys are afraid of confrontations and stuff like that but it's always better to do it this way rather than to have it all explode right in your face and then have a difficult uh and more problematic situation later on it's better to talk things out so i cannot stress that enough talk things out pisces okay don't try to assume things don't try to create problems that doesn't exist you just need to talk things out you just need to communicate what is it that you are thinking you, you are feeling and how the other person is all at the same time so just express what you're feeling and if you have done so and still nothing is really working out then that will be the time for you to really make an important decision whether you should be continuing that relationship or maybe you want to give them space or whatever like that however we are having here the full card and i think um i think we already yeah we have a lot of reflecting cards over here and a lot of resetting cards over uh new beginning cards and the full cards so um something really needs to reset in this situation or in this relationship for some of you guys um it could be a very hopeless situation you might be feeling hopeless or very troubled into the relationship however um like i said earlier um trying to trying to forget things you know um for some of you guys you might be trying to ignore the situation you're trying to to say that okay there is no problem no problem at all <laughs> you might be having that tendency however that's really not gonna help because i kind of feel that something might happen within the month of january that uh, makes everything quite obvious and you know it's gonna be right in front of your face um so you will eventually you will need to face that you you will need to accept that 
face that and understand that this is actually really happening into your situation. So this is about you needing to solve problems into the relationship and hopefully get something out of it. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Pisces. And I do hope that you will be able to overcome this adversity if this is something that's really going to be happen happening to you. Hopefully not. <laughs> it's better for you to not resonate it on it if it's something that you don't want to hear or anything like that. But anyways, this is the message that is coming through with me through the sign of Pisces, you know. A lot of hard work, a lot of things that you need to overcome. But once you do, it can actually be, be something that's fruitful. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And if you want a more specific reading just, just for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And tick the bell icon to get notified whenever I post videos like this or something similar in the near future. So I'll see you guys again. Goodbye.